Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we will derive equation of line of the form y is equal to mx plus b from graph and compare it with non-linear functions. Now in our last session we had derived equation y is equal to mx plus b and we saw that it was a linear equation And here m is the slope and b is the y-intercept made by the line on y-axis. It means b determines where the line meets y-axis. Now we know a linear function is that function whose graph is a straight line. Now let us derive equation y is equal to mx plus b from graph. Now suppose we are given a graph. Can we write a linear function that relates y to x? Now let us understand it with this example. Here we are given a graph on which points are plotted. If we join the points, then we get a straight line. Thus, the points lie on a straight line which shows there is a linear relationship between x and y. And now we will find that relationship. Now we know that a straight line has a slope. So first of all, we will find the value of the slope. Now a straight line has constant rate of change. So for slope, we will take any two points which lie on this straight line. Now let us take the points 0, minus 2 and 1, 1. Now slope is equal to change in y upon change in x or you can say rise upon run which is equal to now change in y means difference in y coordinates so this is 1 minus of minus 2 whole upon change in x means difference in x coordinates so this is equal to 1 minus 0 which is equal to 1 plus 2 whole upon 1 which is equal to 3 upon 1 that is equal to now on the graph you can see the run is 1 and rise is 3. So slope is equal to rise upon 1 which is equal to 3. And also you can see that this line crosses or cuts the y-axis at the point 0 minus 2. So, y-intercept is equal to minus 2. So, the relationship between x and y is given by y is equal to mx plus b. Now, here slope m is equal to 3. And y-intercept b is equal to minus 2. So putting the values of m and b here, this implies y is equal to 3x plus of minus 2, which further gives y is equal to 3x minus 2. So this is the required equation which describes the relationship between y and x. 
Now here, as we have moved to the right of intercept for run and then up for rise, it means here both run and rise are positive. That is why here the slope is positive. So, for sign of slope, we see the direction in which we move. Now, for rise, if we move up, then the sign will be positive. If we move down, the sign will be negative. And for run, if we move right, then the sign will be positive and if we move left then the sign will be negative. Now let us determine the equation y is equal to mx plus b from tables. Now if we are given input output table of x and y values and we have to find the linear relationship between x and y we will make use of the above procedure only. The point x is equal to 0 and y is equal to b will give us the value of y intercept. Now suppose we have the following table in which the different values of x are given to us and the corresponding values of y are also given to us. First of all, we will see that there is a constant rate of change or not. First of all, let us see the change in x. Now here, 0 minus of minus 1 is equal to 0 plus 1 which is equal to 1. Then next, 1 minus 0 is again 1 and here 2 minus 1 is also 1. So here change in x is constant. Now let us see the change in y. Now here minus 2 minus of minus 5 will be equal to minus 2 plus 5 which is equal to 3. Similarly, 1 minus of minus 2 is 3. 4 minus 1 is also 3. So, change in y is again constant. So there is a constant rate of change so it is linear. Now let us find the slope. Now slope is equal to change in y upon Change in x, now change in y is 3 and change in x is 1. So 3 upon 1 is equal to 3. Now we know that the point x is equal to 0 and y is equal to b will give us the value of y intercept. So here the y intercept is given by the point 0 minus 2. So here y intercept that is b is equal to minus 2. So the required equation is y is equal to mx. Now here m that is slope is equal to 3. So y is equal to 3x plus of minus 2 which implies y is equal to 3x minus 2. 
Now let us compare linear and non-linear functions. Now, now a linear function shows a constant rate of change. So its graph is a straight line, whereas a non-linear function does not have constant rate of change. So its graph is not a straight line. Now consider these two tables. Now for table 1, let us see the change in x. Now here you can see that change in x is a constant. Now let us find change in y. Now here it is 36 minus 45 which is equal to minus 9. Then again 27 minus 36 is minus 9 and 18 minus 27 is again minus 9. So change in y is also constant. So it is a linear relationship. Now let us see the table 2. First of all, we will see change in x in this table. Now here it is 4 minus 2 which is equal to 2. Then next it is 6 minus 4 which is again 2. And then it is 8 minus 6 which is also 2. So here change in x is constant. Now let us find change in y. Now here it is 16 minus 4 which is equal to 12 then 36 minus 16 which is equal to 20 and then 64 minus 36 which is equal to 28. So here change in y is not constant. So it is a non-linear relationship. Now graphically we can show a non-linear relationship. Now consider a function y is equal to x square. Now here let us put different values of x for which we will obtain different values of y. Now, for x is equal to minus 1, y will be equal to minus 1 whole square, which is equal to 1. Then for x is equal to 0, y is equal to 0. Then for x is equal to 1, y is equal to 1. And for x is equal to 2, y is equal to 2 square, which is equal to 4. Now let us plot all these points on the graph. First of all, let us plot the point minus 1, 1 on the graph. Now we will start from 0. Then here x coordinate is negative. So we will move 1 unit to the left of 0 and we will reach at this point. Then y is equal to 1 which is positive. So we will move 1 unit upwards and we will reach at this position. Now here this point represents the ordered pair minus 1, 1. Now let us plot the point 0, 0 on the graph. Now this is the point 0, 0. Now let us plot the point 1, 1 on the graph. Now this is the point whose coordinates are 1, 1. And lastly, let us plot the point 2, 4 on the graph. Now here, this is the point whose coordinates are 2, 4. Now after joining these points, we see the four points do not lie on one straight line. 
And if we join free-handedly, we see they form a curve and not a straight line. So it shows non-linear relationship between x and y. Now from the above discussion, we can say if we are given any function showing relationship between x and y, then this function is linear if it can be written in the form y is equal to mx or y is equal to mx plus b and if it cannot be written in slope intercept form then that function is nonlinear. For example, we have a function y is equal to 4 minus 3x square. Now it can be written as y is equal to minus 3x square plus 4. So it cannot be written in the form y is equal to mx plus b because here power of x is 2. So it is a non-linear relationship. So in this session we have derived equation of straight line of the form y is equal to mx plus v from the graph and also we have compared it with non-linear functions. And this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.